Hello my friends and welcome, my name is Denis and this is the latest update from Ukraine. Today good news only, let's speak about the Severodonetsk in particular because the rest parts of the front lines are standstill. Uh, so let's zoom to it, it's on the eastern part of Ukraine, we have the latest update of the chart so that is why I'm recording this video for you. According to reports we were able to take this crucial Metolkino village which is suburban part of the Severodonetsk itself. We have the very crucial crossroad over here with the ring and Russia used those roads to supply the forces over here and that is why they had to retreat from Syrodonetsk from this part of it. Let's zoom out a little bit and let's go to the timeline. So it was yesterday evening, it is today. My friends, we have successful counterattack. We are winning there. And now we have the Google Earth. Uh, here is the Lysychansk, Serdonetsk and Metolkino village, which is quite big. You see, it's like one-fifth size of the Serdonetsk. That is why it's very important as well. I would say it's also like the part of the Serdonetsk. I think if the town had been expanding, uh, the Metolkino would be the part of it, of course. And we have this road. So this part over here uh, Russia controls from this uh, railway station till here, here, here and here, I think till the Jazz Mall, the big mall, I think the biggest that they have in Serodonetsk. I see a Ukrainian flag there, What? what is this? Some kind of hunger right and this is the city concert hall before russia assaulted towards the factory so they took uh, this uh, part of the factory over here they took this part all across the serdanets they took most of the quartals and the places where people usually live but we stayed at the factory and some of the locals civilians were hiding in the basements of the factory the similar situation with mariupol so russians thought that it will be the same for them than in Mariupol but the biggest difference here is that the front line is very close to Serodonetsk. You see the front line is just here, right? here's the big city that is under control by Ukrainian uh, troops, it's on a high ground so we can use artillery very precisely to hit Russians and we retreated from the Serodonetsk for a purpose, Russians just came to the city and it was a big trap for them. Now we use our artillery and our troops to attack, to counterattack them in the city and they had to retreat themselves. And now let's go to Mariupol, my friends. Uh, so compare the situation, Mariupol is here. We're far away from it. Just imagine uh, how many kilometers we can measure. Mariupol and the front line is just 68 kilometers so you can reach Mariupol only with HIMARS weapons my friends you cannot uh, reach it with any kind of other systems so for Ukrainian forces it wasn't possible to use artillery against Russians and counterattack them uh, let's get back to the Serodonetsk area my friends uh, do we have now it's successful counterattack. Yes. Can we hold the city for a long time? I am in great doubt, honestly, my friends, because Russia has advantage in that region. It would be the miracle for Ukrainian forces to take the control over the Syrodonetsk fully and get Russians to retreat to those woods around. And that is why I personally think that Russia has more chances in their success in Syrodonetsk, but there is no any way they can cross this river to reach uh, Lysychansk with the forces they have. They need to announce the massive mobilization, etc. But I still hope that Ukrainian forces will get the Syrodonetsk under control my friends it will be the miracle i give like maybe 20 percent for that outcome and now you see how weapons can change the situation on the front line so we have lots of m777s we have tether artillery systems we have crops uh, made in poland we have many more weapons from all around the world we also have good old soviet weapons they are quite reliable but still you need to use up-to-date technologies to win this war and as for the war i'm sure that ukraine gonna win it my friends i'll keep you updated about the situation here in ukraine now please press the like subscribe to my channel and if you can you may support me on patreon or paypal my friends those of you who support me you are awesome thank you so much much and i wish you a peaceful sky wherever you are have a great time